bunch of guys, so they're going to have to figure out ways to manufacture offense. And we haven't seen Cooper on the field yet. We may not see him at all, or maybe for one play. Aggressive defense knocking that pass away, intended for Christian Owens. So it'll be second and ten. Al Harris Jr. out of Fort Lauderdale, that powerhouse St. Thomas Aquinas in there defensively. Tremendous play, and that's a John Hoke defense. Notice. The guy was a man-to-man -man coverage. He was he identified his man. He put his foot in the ground and he came up. He made a play. And the most important thing he did, even if that guy catches the ball, he's going to be there to make the tackle. So guess what? It's not a 60-yard touchdown at the very. Well, I'll tell you what. The defense has stiffened because we had the celebrity touchdown, but then the defense did not allow a score on the last drive by the Garnet team. That's going to be. And a fake on the pass. Draw play to Sean Carson. Carson trying to make one man miss and an excellent tackle in the open field by Al Harris Jr. following an eight-yard game. Also good block there by wide receiver, big wide receiver Terry Guger. You know, at South Carolina... ...that he's going to take back the play-calling responsibility. Tough throw and into the bushes. It'll be second down and goal, trying to force it in there to Christian Owens. Excellent coverage again by Harris, who's... Had a decent series here for the Gamecock defense. Yeah, when you, when, when, you, when you talk about Rico McWilliams, he's the number one corner. But A.R. Harris Jr. is having himself an outstanding game. Great man-to-man -man coverage. We call that look and lean. You look back at the ball and you lean into the wide receiver. That way you keep contact with him. Great, great look and lean there by A.R. Harris Jr.